So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually define the variables. Um, so let card equals get element by ID card. And uh, as you can see here on the on the welcome liquid, we want to get all these and define it. So here's the ID. Here's an ID. Here's another ID. So back here on welcome dot JS, we want to do that for the background. Uh, the cookie is a little different. It's just document cookie and uh, the banner and the user. So once we have that save and then we'll go to the next part so guys to add some interactivity the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write a little function for um this confirm function the on click confirm function and this should uh should just uh show this background um it, sh it will be able to change the display so if you go back here and um and add function confirm if card style is equal to block, then card style is equal to none. And the background style is equal to none. And uh, that's that's what we're gonna do. Just something like that. Else uh, card style is equal to none. The next function we're gonna do is actually setting a cookie and uh, this function uh, C name value expiration date. We have the dates and everything so yeah that's that's the function for setting cookies you, you just want to use it as is it's kind of hard to explain so I'm just not going to explain it oh actually guys this is not the function for setting a cookie this is the function for getting a cookie so like that nope, that's the function for getting a cookie um, next thing we're going to do is actually do the function for setting the cookie. And that is going to look a little different, but sort of similar. So it goes like that. Set cookie. And then we're going to have the date as uh, the next variable. Just like right here, date. And then we're also going to have the time expiration. We're going to have to set up the expiration. Plus the dates. So we're going to take the date, set time, expiration. Yep. Uh, yeah, you could change this right here to whatever, how long you want it to expire. But yeah, that is the cookie setting part. And the next part after this, um, we're going to want to have an event listener for, uh, for checking the cookie. So as soon as the, as soon as, uh, the page loads, we want it to check the cookie. And to do that, we're going to need to write a function for checking the cookie that looks like this. So function check cookie, and then we're going to get the user. that uh, so yeah we're just gonna get bar user get cookie user and then we're also gonna get the user document and then we're gonna check to see if there's a user and if there is a user um, set it to the set it set it anyway yeah so if there's a user we're gonna make the user thing say welcome back user and if there is not a user it should be else um, we're just gonna display these things as a block the car is gonna be blocked the background is gonna be blocked and that is it for uh, for checking function another confirm function that's right another confirm function because the first one wasn't enough anyways this confirm function when we click on it it's actually going to call the last confirm function but uh, this this one is just going to have a 
it's just gonna have a little prompt, so it's gonna prompt. Please enter your name or something like that. And then if somebody enters their name, yeah, if somebody enters their name, we're gonna set the cookie. And this is the time we're gonna set it for 30. I believe that's 30 days. And then if uh, the user does not enter, well, if there's nothing there, we're still gonna have it working just because um, the background is gonna go away, the card's gonna go away. Still gonna have everything working. Just just like that. So that is pretty much everything for the JavaScript side. Um, we're gonna go ahead and save that. Okay guys, so the last part is actually having the script. And this is very important. Um, so I'll just place the script there. It says source. Welcome.js asset URL async blah blah blah. We're gonna save it and then we're gonna preview it and see how it looks. Okay, so it looks like the script works just fine, but the page is not identified correctly. Um, so if you'd like to place a page like this one, I have two pages. This one's terms of, terms of use. And this one is pop page. I think it has to be spelled correctly. And mine says terms of use. Let's go ahead and copy that. <laughs> and then place it right here. Terms of use, like that. With the, uh, I think it's dashes like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and save it. And then preview it one more time, see if it works this time. Oh, there it is. Yeah, looks like it works just fine. So, that particular page has been imported over here to this, uh, to this section. So, there's a terms of service and also could not find snippets, newsletter, liquid. Um, right here, newsletter. So I wanted to include this uh, a snippet of newsletter. So let's see, let's see if we have any actually. Product card. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have a, a newsletter snippet. I mean, we have a comment section snippet. So we're just gonna take that off in this theme. If you if you wanted to include it, um, if you wanted to include your a snippet inside a section, you can do that. But you can't include a section inside of a section. So we're just gonna remove this right here and uh, just have that as is. Maybe even have a button button for maybe later. And uh, yeah, this button could be useful for if like you're, if you have an offer or, of some kind. Um, just to uh, clear the site data, but if you wanted to test it out, um, the values would be under cookies, and I'm using Chrome, so it would just like to access this as just the settings and developer tools. And whenever I refresh um, for the first time, if the cookie isn't stored, it's just going to show this page. And this is a page I chose because it's like, it's a terms of service page, but this right here can be replaced with anything. Uh, for example, I'm just gonna replace it with, uh, so I'm just gonna enter my name there. Uh, and that's just a little prompt that says it's working. And as you get to see here at the very top, my name is now there. And over here on the username, on the cookies, the cookie was set as a username cookie. 
right, whenever I refresh, it's actually, it checks the cookie. I'm grinding, I'm grinding that currency coming, I'm sexing the money. I'm sexing